Okay, I gave him another new feeder. And I got a little bigger waterer. And they were getting so many shavings in that, I was having to dump that out, just wasting it. So I just folded a pad in half, and then I gave him one of those feeders. And that one there, I have a, uh, a board screwed down to the bottom of it that raises it up some. Um, after they get to a certain height. So they're big enough to reach in there, as you see. And, of course, this was all clean this morning. Um, I am getting the garage ready for them, but they're not going out there right yet. Uh, still a little bit small, but, I mean, they're fine. I'm going to uh, finish cleaning out the place where I'm going to put them in the garage and turn that um, electric oil heater on, kind of get it warmed up out there ahead of time and get everything ready so what I think I'm going to end up doing I have to think about it I might get some wood and, and do like a, a table without legs I guess just the top of it to set their um, water on raise it up off the shavings so they don't get so much shavings in the water of course I got <laughs> I got shavings all over my floor because I just threw some in there so I gotta get that swept up <laughs> what are we doing? And I got a different plate here because the other one I washed and is drying outside. So, you know, I swapped the two out so I can keep them clean. I don't wash them off every single day. I mean, you can, you can spend every day, all day on just taking care of chicks and cleaning up after them. But as long as they don't get too bad. <laughs> and like, it doesn't smell in here. I can't smell anything. I take a, a dustpan. And scoop out places and just throw the uh, fresh shavings in there and again this is the messiest place right here and then of course around their feet and water so they haven't been pecking on the uh, pads yet so I could probably leave them the pad you know keep putting the pads in here for a few more days and then I take them out to the garage I think I'm just going to leave that, you know, the shavings. I just have to find something to raise the water and feed. Well, the feeder there, it's got the board underneath it, so I might keep that. Huh? You like your little perch there? Huh? <laughs> Mama made that last year. Or the year before. I can't, I can't even remember. All right, well, they're doing good. So I'm going to finish out there and then I'm going to get the Chicksville shed ready to open up that other side of the kennel for the pullets so they have more room. Okay, I've got this one cleaned out and ready um, to bring the chicks out here. At not this probably next week or in a few days. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. Um, and then the day before I put them in here, I'll be turning my electric oil heater on. Kind of start heating it up in here. I mean, it's not bad out here. I have the heat plate, but... Um, I just want to make sure everything's warmed up. I mean, it's, it's okay for me out here, but I think it's a little nippy right now for as young as they are. So I got that ready, and I'm just going to wait. <laughs> I opened up the other side, but they haven't, they, they haven't figured it out yet. I had a little sandbox there, and I got their thing over there, and they got a little perch on that side to play. So we'll see if they go over there. Go on. Oh, what happened to the wall? <laughs> Come on over there, check it out. You got more room. I probably should move that stuff sideways and come in and out easier. Um, change one thing at a time. I can't put that heat plate too far away because the cord's got to come over here. And I don't want to like hang out across there and then jump up on it. 
Oh, new stuff. New stuff. <laughs> now you have plenty of room. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, they're figuring it out. It'll be good for the next month or so. <laughs> Bring it over and check it out. There's my little cockerel. <laughs> Where's the other one? I know I have one more. I'm pretty sure I do. I think it's I think it's that one there. Alright, while well, they're exploring their new territory. <laughs> okay, so while they were on that side. I got this side cleaned out. I just took the dustpan and scooped out the bad places. I didn't like take the whole entire thing out. But anywhere there was poo poo, I just threw some fresh shavings in and sifted out their sandbox. So that makes it easier. I can just chase them over to one kennel, I clean one side, and then reverse it. <laughs> now we got some back there, so. <laughs> and I did move that kind of catty corner, so some of them just sleep in the corner on the floor over there after that heat plate, and then they've got this one on the below freezing nights, or the freezing nights. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave you go for now. I got, I got some other stuff to go do. You only got about another, uh, let's see, you got several weeks in here yet, yeah, let's put it that way. What? <laughs> you just gonna go back and forth? Y'all playing follow the leader? <laughs> All right. How you doing, little girl? <laughs> All right. Have fun. I'll be back out in a little bit. Check on you. Okay. I started bringing some more of my chicken poop straw out here. Um, starting to get the ground and grass ready to for seed and stuff. I did throw like a little thin, thin, thin coat of seed out there. Um, it's just what I do every year. Get ready for the uh, spring grass. So I still have some more to cover. Um, it's a little windy out here, so. <laughs> I just threw them some eggs. Ugh. Okay, they're going to head back out to their, to their hiding place. They like hanging out there. Y'all eat your eggs? There's a shell there. Get that shell. <laughs> what are you doing, Edward? <laughs> I don't have anything. Quit following me. So they got water out here. They have fresh rainwater in their pool. And I took some of the rainwater and put in the water in there. They have a little bit. They're, it's evening. They're about ready for bed, so I'm not going to change that right now. Alright, finish playing. You don't have much longer. <laughs>